House Tyrell of Highgarden is one of the great houses of the Seven Kingdoms, being Lord Paramount of the Manda and Liege Lord to the Reach. A wealthy house is only surpassed among the great houses by House Lannister, and the Tyrells can field the greatest armies in all of Westeros. If they call the banners of House Redwine, and thus the Redwine fleet, the Lords of the Shield Isles and the Coastal Lords, they could command a navy that equals if not surpasses the Royal Fleet to King's Landing. Highgarden is an ancient seat and heart of chivalry in the Seven Kingdoms. The Tyrells themselves, defenders of the marches, and high marshals of the Reach, are traditionally, they have also been wardens in the South, in addition to Lord Paramount of the Manda. The sigil is a golden rose on green fields, and the words are growing strong. Members of the family tend to have brown curly hair and brown eyes. Unlike their bannermen, the High Towers of Old Town, the Tyrells were never kings, though royal blood does still flow in their veins, as in half a hundred of the other greatest houses in the Reach. Sir Alistair Tyrell, the founder of the line, was an Andor adventurer who became a champion and sworn shield to King Gawain V Gardener, one of the famous Three Sage Kings. His eldest son became a notable knight as well, only to die in a tawny. His second son, Garth, was more of a bookish man and never achieved knighthood, choosing to serve as a royal steward instead. It is from him that, that today's Tyrells descend. Garth Tyrell and his son, Leo, performed their duties so ably that the gardeners made the office of High Steward hereditary. Through the centuries, many generations of Tyrells served in that capacity. Many became close confidants and advisors to their kings. Some also acted as Castilians in times of war. At least one ruled the Reach as regent during the minority of King Garland VI Gardner. King Giles III declared the Tyrells to be my most loyal, leal servants, and King Myrna VI was so pleased with them that he gave Sir Robert Tyrell the hand of his youngest daughter in marriage, thereby allowing their sons, grandsons and all the generations to follow to claim descent from Garth Greenhand. That was the first marriage between House Gardner and House Tyrell, but nine more unions between the two houses followed in the centuries to come. But it was not their royal blood that made Aegon Targaryen choose to name the Tyrells as Lords of Highgarth, Wands of the South and Lord Paramounts of the Reach after King Myrne the Ninth. The last of the Gardner kings died along with all his sons upon the field of fire during Aegon's conquest. Those honours were won by the prudence of Harlan Tyrell, who opened the gates of Highgarden to Aegon's approach and pledged himself and his family to House Targaryen. Afterwards, a number of the other great houses of the Reach complained bitterly about being made vassals of an up-jump steward and insisted that their own blood was far nobler than that of the Tyrells. It cannot be denied that the Oak Hearts of Old Oak, the Florence of Brightwater Keep, the Rowans of Golden Grove and the Peaks of Starpike and the Red Wines of the Arbor all had older and more distinguished lineages than the Tyrells and closer blood ties to House Gardner as well. Their protests were of no avail however, maybe perhaps in part because all the houses had taken up arms against Aegon and his sisters on the field of fire, whereas the Tyrells had not. Then you may also have to consider the might and power held by House Hightower, who were not having many blood ties to the Gardner kings, can boast of their own royal blood, being the kings of Old Town for centuries before joining the Kingdom of the Reach. Also, it should be noted that the High Towers did yield Old Town without a fight, and opening the gates to welcome Aegon. The reasons why Aegon did not choose House High Tower are debated even to this day. Aegon Targaryen's judgement in this proved sound. Lord Harlan proved a capable steward for the Reach, though he only ruled until 5 AC, when he disappeared with his army in the deserts of Dawn during Aegon's first Dornish War. His son Theo Tyrell was understandably reluctant to become involved in any further attempts to conquer Dawn, but eventually became embroiled when the conflict spilled out beyond the Red Mountains. When the Targaryens at last made peace with Dawn, Lord Theo turned his attention consolidating Tyrell power by arranging a council of septons and maesters to examine and firmly dismiss some of the more persistent of the claims to Highgarden by those who insisted the seat was rightfully theirs. As Lords of Highgarden and Wardens of the South, the descendants of these up-jump stewards rank amongst the most powerful Lords of the realm and they have been called on to fight beneath the banner of the Targaryens on many occasions. For most of those occasions they have come as called, though wisely they played no part in the Dance of the Dragons as the young Lord Tyrell was at the time a babe in a swaddling cloth, and his mother and the Castilian chose to keep Highgarden out of the dreadful bloodbath. Later, when King Daron I Targaryen, the young dragon, marched on dawn, the Tyrells proved their valour by leading the main thrust over the prince's pass. Having said faithfully, if perhaps too boldly, Lord Lionel Tyrell was given charge of Dawn after the young dragon returned, triumphant King's Landing. His lordship succeeded in keeping the Dornishmen pacified for some time, 
only to suffer a gruesome death in the infamous Bed of Scorpions. His murder ignited the rising that swept Dawn, eventually bringing about the death of the young dragon at the age of 18. Of the Tyrells who succeeded the ill-fated Lord Lionel at Highgarden in the years since, the most notable was Lord Leo Tyrell, a tawny champion remembered to this day as Lord Longthorn. Many considered him the finest jouster to ever coach a lance. Lord Leo also won distinction during the first Blackfyre Rebellion, winning notable victories against Damon Blackfyre's adherents in the Reach, though his forces were unable to gather quick enough to arrive in time for the Battle of the Red Grass Field. The present Lord of Highgarden at the start of the main book series is Mace Tyrell, who fought loyally for House Targaryen during Robert's Rebellion, defeating Robert Baratheon himself at the Battle of Ashford, and later besieging his brother Stannis in Storm's End for the better part of a year. With the death of Mad King Aerys II and his son Prince Rhaegar, however, Lord Mace laid down his sword and is today once again Warden of the South and a leal servant to King Robert and the Iron Throne.